a sweet science to boxing the there's a sweet science to boxing the The best and the coolest thing about my career is called the sweet science. There's a sweet science to boxing the It's to hit and not get hit. Let's get to it. All right, man. So we're still talking about Amanda Serrano and Carissa Shields. Now, listen, guys. They still been going at it on Twitter. They've been throwing little soda shots at each other. And it's all about this whole 50 million views that Netflix apparently did. Now, they put this out right here. And this right here is Sports Illustrated. It says, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, Netflix bout becomes the most watched women's sporting event. Now, it wasn't only Sports Illustrated. I mean, a lot of people put this out. Uh, even MVP Promotions put this out. I think even Netflix themselves put it out as the most watched women's sporting event. Now, I want you guys to understand something. This event itself was not a women's sporting event. Yeah, you can go and look yourself. You can go and check Netflix right now, and this is what you will see. That's right. You will see Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Now, if you go down here to the bottom where it says starring Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, then you can see Katie Taylor. To even see Amanda Serrano's name, you will have to press more. So let's stop trying to act like this is an all women's event. And it's not. I think that's what Clarissa Shields is talking about when she was talking about they trying to rewrite history. Because apparently she DM'd Cameron and Cameron said it on his podcast. He said that she DM'd me yesterday and she was like, Cam, they trying to rewrite history. I have the most watched fight in women's history. Their first fight, Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor did 1.5 million. 1.5 million. And as we all know, Clarissa Shields versus Savannah Marshall did 2 million. Now, Cameron on his podcast was basically letting Clarissa Shields know, hey, that's cool and all, but I just saw the numbers for them. They did 50 million. You need to catch up. That's what he was telling her, basically. And listen, it's easy to do 50 million views when everybody got Netflix. On top of that, it wasn't a women's event. Did women fight? Yes, women did fight, but it wasn't an all women's event. Let's stop trying to make it seem like that people was there for Amanda Serrano. If anything, most people was there for Katie Taylor and Mike Tyson. Let's be real about it. You guys gonna tell me that this girl went from doing no numbers all the way to doing 50 million. Out of nowhere. Jake Paul went from doing a couple million to doing 60 million out of nowhere. Oh, we gonna act like Mike Tyson ain't had nothing to do with it, right? We gonna act like that the man who has been doing pay-per-views, the man who did 1.8 million, this dude did 1.8 million buys. We, we ain't talking about streaming on Netflix. We talking about 1.8 million pay-per-view buys. And the pay-per-view buys were $80. Even Canelo and Tank, the faces of boxing, struggle today to do 1.8 million buys and Mike Tyson last did it in 2020 when he fought Roy Jones Jr. So we're going to act like that that's not the case though. Listen people, I understand what you guys are talking about. It does sound like Clarissa Shield is hating. But all in all, she's actually being honest. She's actually being real. It really wasn't an all women's event. If we're talking about an all women's event, the most viewed all women's event, it was Clarissa Shields. Now, when Amanda Serrano headlined an event like that, or when she's the main event, and when she can do two, over two million views as the main event, then we can talk. That's what makes it a women's event. I mean, because if we're saying that they did 50 million views, then that means that, hey, I guess we're trying to say that Marios Barrios the king, right, as well. Because he fought as well. Bruce Garrickson fought as well. So all of them did 50 million views. So everybody gets credit then. These are some of the things that Amanda Serrano and Clarissa Shields said towards each other. Amanda Serrano said, facts are facts. When your numbers come out as 2 million, no one commented about it. Now those numbers are smashed and you are upset. How do we make women's boxing grow if that's truly the goal for you, if it bothers you that someone else does good? We fought our butts off to elevate the game. I fought with a gruesome cut to show the world that we women can and belong on the big stage. Not to prove that I'm better than anyone. You and I are real different and want different, hon. That's obvious. Carissa Shield responded and she said, Pause, baby. I'm not upset. You guys wasn't a standalone women's event. 
doesn't take away from the fact that you guys added to the women's boxing and brought in the view. I'm happy for you guys. Keep going, champion. Keep breaking records. And listen, you guys may call it hating, but that's real. It wasn't an all-women's event. And then there's another guy on Twitter who thinks that it was all about Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor. He said, people didn't bought the fight to see Tyson and Jake, if we want to be realistic, though. Because the only reason that fight got all them numbers were because of Amanda and Katie. Then he put some clapping hands and put an emoji as if he's trying to hype himself up because he don't even believe what he's saying. Then he put, y'all people is mad because it's not Clarissa, Alicia, or any other fighter with all them belts. Well, actually... It's just the fact that it wasn't an all women's event. That's what people are trying to get you or people to understand. It can't be the most viewed women's event if it wasn't a women's event. If you go back to Saturday, October the 15th, 2022, in the O2 Arena when Carissa Shields fought Savannah Marshall, and go and look at the event. As a matter of fact, I'll put it on the screen for you. Check this out. This right here was an all women event. This is the event that they're talking about that did over 2 million views. All women event. So like I said, if Amanda Serrano can do an all women event and do over 2 million views then, then let's talk about it. Then we can talk about it. But right now, niggas came for Mike Tyson. Let's be real. And if anything, a lot of people from Ireland came from Katie Taylor. And a lot of people feel like that Amanda Serrano be throwing shots too. The same way Clarissa Shields throws shots, people feel like Amanda Serrano be throwing shots as well, but don't nobody never call it out. And this dude right here may be on to something. His name is London Runs Boxing. This way he says, I find Amanda Serrano so disingenuous. She acts all innocent, but when she lost again, she was the one saying Katie only using her head, and she allowed that me head Jordan to spout a whole bunch of crap about Katie Taylor who is always quiet and reserved, which is true. She did attack Katie Taylor and started saying that, oh, she did it on purpose. Later, she came back and apologized, but let's continue on what he's saying. But when the quote speaks up, she wants to play the victim. F out of here with that foolishness. And that's what everybody doing. Oh, Amanda Serrano sold this and she sold that. And Carissa Shields is doing all the hating. Listen. I definitely understand how it can come off as hate. I understand that. Even I said Carissa Shields needs to just chill out sometimes because she always putting herself in other people's business that ain't got nothing to do with her. She does do that. But when you come out and say that this the most watched women's boxing event, then you're lying because it wasn't a women event. It was Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson with women on the card. So let's stop it. And then this dude right here was responding to the London Runs boxing guy and he said it's fake humility. All fun and games when they think she's entitled to win because she's the Puerto Rican people's champ. But as soon as reality hits, it's saltiness central. This guy say this and he got a point. He said the fact is they was on the undercard. You can't claim numbers if you not the main event. We Mario's Barrios 50 million view credit too. I guess he's trying to say do we give Mario's Barrios that 50 million credit as well? Is he now the face of the welterweight division? Because that's what they acting like. So if they get the credit for if men are surrounding them, then that means that Mario's Barrios get credit. That means that Bruce Carrington gets credit and everybody who fought on the dog on main card. Real Boxing Magazine, he say, well, maybe because it was on Netflix, on a Mike Tyson and Jake Paul car, LOL. He acted like they headlined it. Once again, he's right. These women didn't headline the event. It was Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. We talking about Mike Tyson. Like I told you guys at the beginning of the video, somebody who just sold 1.8 million pay-per-view buys back in 2020. Even Canelo and Tank struggled to do those type of numbers. And we want to act like it was Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor. Niggas, shut up. And y'all just getting mad because Clarissa Shields calling it out. So now you're trying to say that she's hating. Three of Boxing Magazine also said this. My point is everyone on the main car can say that they did well over 10 million views, which is more than she has done. But you know why I don't have to say it. Yeah, we know why he don't have to say it. Because everybody knows it was on Netflix. Nigga, everybody got Netflix. Let's stop trying to act like these were pay-per-view buys. Because if it was pay-per-view buys, it wouldn't have even done over Canelo's last fight. Let's be real. Or maybe it would have done over Canelo's last fight only because of Mike Tyson. 
Mike Tyson is the one who last sold 1.8 pay-per-view buys. Now Amanda Serrano, not Kaylee Taylor. Then somebody in my comment section on one of my other videos said, oh, well, you just seen this stuff because you pro-black boxing channel. Me a pro-black boxing channel? After I lifted up Canelo, David Benavidez, Kato Plant, I was one of the ones who said, hey, Tyson Fury is just better than Deontay Wilder. We got to admit this. No, he didn't cheat. He just a better boxer. I was the one who said that. But I'm pro-black? No, nigga, I'm pro-boxing. And I'm bringing y'all the facts. And the facts is, Amanda Serrano versus Kaylee Taylor was not a woman event. So stop trying to make it seem like it was. Let's be real. It was a Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson event with other people on the card. And Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor happened to be some of those people. So let's be real. It really sold mainly because of Mike Tyson and maybe second in line, maybe because of Katie Taylor because she got a whole country behind her who loves boxing.